Hey guys, what's up? Today is Friday, March 22nd, 2024. I haven't made a YouTube video in quite some time to give you all an update on the motel conversion, the old Red Cedar Lodge down in Bon Terre, Missouri. We've converted this to, as you can see here, Sunshine Apartments. Hey guys, what's up? Today is Friday, March 22nd, 2024. I haven't made a YouTube video in quite some time to give you all an update on the motel conversion, the old Red Cedar Lodge down in Bon Terre, Missouri. We've converted this to, as you can see here, Sunshine Apartments. And the reason we're calling it Sunshine Apartments is because we are adding solar panels. We have added solar panels to the roof at this property. So this is a really, really cool project. We are rounding third base, heading towards home plate at this point. This has been quite the project. We've been working on this project for about 17 months already. We still probably have another four, maybe five or six weeks to go, call it four to six weeks to go. Um, but by the end of April, we are hoping to be completely 100% done with all of our rehabbing efforts. Um, as of today, we are working really, really hard on two units in the back of this building here. We're going to be, we're also working really, really hard on eight units in this uh, second building here. We're referring to this as building two. Uh, by the end of this month, we are hoping to have all eight of these done, as well as these two that we're working on in this building done. And that's gonna leave us with only four units to go. There's a total of 40 units in this building. So that would mean that by the end of this month, in the next you know two weeks, give or take, we will have done and completed 36 of 40 units with the rehab, and we'll only have four more to go, which hopefully will take us about a month give or take to complete and then you know button up some of the last minute things on this project. I want to walk some of these units in building two on this video today but some of the things that I want to highlight before we jump into going through all these units here is that we have basically done everything that we can do to fix this building up um, or these this property it's three buildings here this one's double sided two stories, this one's one-sided, two stories, and then we have a garage as well. We've done all new roofs. We've done all new windows. We have done um, painting of the exterior. We have added this green space, uh, which is gonna be nice for those who have pets. We do plan on adding some park benches and some barbecue pits. We've added this uh, area right over here with all of the mailboxes, because they were all at the doors. And being a motel, people weren't really getting mail. However, there was like 10 or 12 people that had lived here in the motel for over three or four years. One person had been here for 10 years in, in the motel. It's kind of sad. But uh, we helped them move on to better places so we could get all the units vacated and get rid of all the roaches and the bed bugs and all of the pests that came along with this project. Craziness. We've also updated the sign, which you saw in the beginning of this video. We've updated the sign in the beginning or near the highway on that side. And we can even walk up there and show some of the things that we've done to this, to this project here on the front side. Of course, added the solar panels, which is massive. Redone a lot of the parking. Uh, we've even cut the front parking lot in half because as we went from a motel to apartments, we didn't need as many parking spaces and we were able to get by with less spaces. So we actually are, have already done it, cut it in half and rented this parking lot in the front to our neighbors over here at Optimum RV, which creates about $500 a month in additional income that we are using to um, obviously collect as rent and you know deploy back into the project and into the property uh, for future repairs and um, you know, value add. So 40 total units that this complex is gonna consist of or does consist of, plus this parking lot right here in front, which as you can see is filled with RVs and campers that um, we're gonna be collecting rent on. We already are. So there's 41 rentable units here, 40 of which are apartments 
One is a parking lot. We've also updated our sign, makes it look really nice and pretty. We're right here along Highway 67 or 61, I don't even know. 67, I think it is. Um, so there's lots of traffic that's coming through here, seeing that sign. They're also seeing our property manager's information on that sign as well. We can take a quick little gander over here to see the front of the building here. There's four units on this bottom right side that we're gonna be working on next. We should be working on these and starting these hopefully in the next uh, two weeks, give or take. And then we're gonna knock these out and then we will have all 40 done. But by the end of this month, we're hoping to have 36 of 40 units done. Woo! This project has taken a lot longer than we had anticipated. We were hoping to do this project in you know 12 to 14 months when we bought it. And we are at the month we are basically almost through 17 months, almost into our 18, 18th month. So we've learned lots and lots of lessons doing this project. We have never done a project this large before. And you know, with that comes lessons and challenges and things that we've learned along the way. The biggest challenge thus far has been the distance away from where we live and work to this project. This project is over an hour away. So we're not able to come here every day. Usually I'm down here, you know, once or twice a week on a good week, I'll be here three times a week, but there's often been times where, you know, one or two, or maybe even, well, usually one or two weeks may go by in some cases, has, where I haven't been able to get down here. So the distance has definitely been a challenging part. Finding good and reliable workers that are skilled has been challenging. Dealing with, you know, materials and just lots of stuff. We've learned a lot, a lot of things about this. So we'll do another video here in a couple of weeks or when we wrap this up and talk about all those challenges specifically. But let's go walk some of the units that we're gonna be wrapping up um, to kind of give you guys an update on what we're doing with these units and uh, give you an update on the, on the project altogether. Guys, we're standing out here in front of building two. I am uh, gonna give you guys a quick tour of these lower four units and then we're gonna go upstairs and look at these next four units. Now keep in mind, these units are not done, they are dirty. We do have drywall and insulation up. We have flooring in, trim in, and some of these, some of the cabinets are already being installed. Um, so they are not done. There is a lot of work to still be done here, but within the next you know, two weeks, give or take, we're hoping to have all eight, these four and then the four above, done and completed um, and cleaned and ready for rent, ready for the property manager to jump in and, and get them rented. So here's an example of uh, one of these units here, you can see we got our cabinets in. We're still waiting on a microwave. We do have our range and fridge in. And floors are in, walls are good, trims up. This will be a bedroom, and that's obviously a kitchen. Um, over here we do have a cove for our bathroom and our vanity and then our closet. So this is a one bedroom, one bath unit that's connected to a kitchen. Originally, these were two individual units as this was a motel. But as we are converting these units, we are taking two, if not three, old motel rooms and we're converting those into combined units where we can lease um, as more of an apartment style. We are no longer operating this as a motel or a hotel. We are operating this as long-term apartments. 12 month lease minimums. All right, so here's another unit. Um, this is actually three units that were combined, three motel units that are gonna be combined into making this one unit. This is a two bedroom, two bathroom unit. So bedroom, bathroom, you can see closet, vanity, and we don't have all of our lights on yet. Electricians are gonna be here all weekend, but there's a bathroom, so bed, bath. Then we'll go through here. We have a kitchen. You can see we're again, we're still waiting on countertops. We have seven countertop, uh, six or seven countertops going in next week. So here's our kitchen and this will all be cleaned up. And then on this side, we have another bedroom. So it's bedroom, bathroom, kitchen, bedroom, bathroom in these particular units. Again, closet, vanity, toilet and shower back there. So these are nice units. Um, we're still waiting on a couple of these P-Tex, as you can see, this one's dated and it's kind of making some noise. We have purchased, um, almost every unit has a new p -tech. There were some that were kind of newer, whoop, that were kind of newer, that we are not going to need to replace, but for the, for the most part, 
the majority of these units are going to have new p tacks in them down here in the middle is our boiler room our electrician should be here all weekend finishing up our panels and using conduit to clean these lines up right now there's just a bunch of storage in there so here's another two bedroom two bath unit it's one unit but it used to be three bedroom bathroom kitchen bedroom bathroom is the design that we went with so here's going to be your bedroom bathroom closet vanity another kitchen you can see the floors are in uh, we'll need to replace that door which we'll do last um, and we'll need to throw a p-tack in that hole right there but that's okay floors are in drywalls in all new plumbing and electrical behind the wall cabinets and appliances minus our microwave which we're going to be installed this weekend and the electrician will be here all weekend too finishing up all the electrical again another unit another side this is a bedroom which is attached to these uh, other two rooms vanity closet toilet and uh um shower back here i don't i don't have lights on yet because they're, they're working on it but here's an example of you know new tub surrounds new tubs toilet will go in there so we'll have a door you know separating off the toilet and the shower um, we, we opted not to do doors here like swinging doors like these these are actually doors for the bathrooms to close off the toilet and the shower and what we are going to be doing on all of these units that have uh, two units is we're going to be having barn doors right here that will slide. And we did that for a couple different reasons. Um, they look cool, but mainly just because it was easy um, to do it that way. So we have one more unit on the lower level of this building, which again, this is kind of our building too. We'll need to clean up this building on the outside once we're all done here. Lots of dust from working and cleaning and uh, sanding and putting in the drywall. Floors are done. They're dirty. We'll need to do them. Cabinets are basically in where they need to be. We'll need to get some appliances in here. Countertops are coming soon. We'll need to add a P-Tech there. But these end units are one bedroom, one bath with a kitchen. As you saw the first one, this is the last one on the lower level. And the two middle units are two bed, two bath units with the kitchens in the middle. Um, over here, we have the bedroom with um, vanity, closet, and toilet. You guys can come see this again. Vanity, some of these vanities are centered. Some of them are, are, are on the side. It really just kind of depended on where the plumbing was. Um, we'll have to put a closet bar in right there. The door's already in here, which is great. Toilet will go there. And as you can see, the tubs are in with the tub surrounds. And we did a lot of work on this building here with plumbing and electrical, which was, uh, which was needed big time on this particular building. We did a lot of electrical on that building too, the main building, but not nearly as much plumbing. This building here had to do a whole lot of plumbing. So let's walk upstairs and walk those units and give you guys an update on those as well next. All right, guys, we are on the top now. I am in uh, the top far right unit, 2207. We actually have a guy in here working, so I'm not gonna walk this whole unit, which is, which is fine. I'd rather him be here working. Uh, again, floors are in, walls are in. Some lights, kind of. Electrician's gonna be here over the weekend. Cabinets are in. We're gonna get countertops done soon. Appliances are gonna be going in that. I'm not gonna bother walking this unit because again, we got a guy in here working. Let's go down and take a look at the other uh, three units. One, two, this will be the door to get in the next one. Some of the units, um, so what we did with the numbers, by the way, is we put the numbers on the kitchen doors because we figured if people are sharing the unit with multiple people, they wouldn't wanna be walking in each other's bedrooms and stuff like that, even though um, almost every unit, there's a couple that are boarded off, but almost every one has its own door. Um, so this is unit 2205, for example. Here's the door to get into the kitchen, which I can show you here. Um, and the kitchen on this one has not been put in yet, nor has the floors, but they're working on it. And then you have two other doors that access this unit. So there's doors, there's doorway holes on the inside. Um, but again, we put the door numbers on the kitchen units because if people do have a kitchen family room combo, which is what they are, we wanted them to come and go out of those units. But of course, people can come and go out of their own bedrooms too. That's up to them. 
This is gonna be a bedroom, closet over there. Got a newer PTAC installed in this one already. You can see how nice that one is. It's kind of dusty from all the work, but it's nice and new and clean. Uh, this week, we're gonna be double timing it, putting in a vanity flooring. Uh, this tub looks like it's already installed with the uh, tub surrounds, which is nice. All the electrical will get done. Um, so again, these top units are what we're really working on hard this week. Um, you can leave that open. So this is a two bedroom, two bath with the kitchen in the middle. And then we got two more units to walk through. Let's take a look here. Here's our storage room. It's just filled with trim and paint, plumbing and electrical outlets and just random stuff. We'll need to do a doorknob there. We're missing a P-Tac here. So obviously we got a lot of work. This has been quite the project. We, have, we'll, we will have spent $1.5 million rehabbing this motel which is now apartments, 40 of them, when it's all said and done. It's a big project, our biggest project to date. This will be a kitchen. Um, the doorway going through is here. And did we just go in this unit? No, we did not. So this one's a little goofy because you have bedroom, bathroom with the door here, and then a kitchen in the middle, but then the door going to that one is over here. No big deal. We're gonna have barn doors on both of these. Usually they're kind of situated similarly. Um, this one's a little funky. And the reason that this one was a little funky is because these doors were already here. There was existing doors. Uh, but we removed them, cleaned it up. And on this side you have, again, bedroom. So bedrooms on the outside. Bedroom, bathroom with the vanity, toilet, tub, and uh, closet combos. And then you have um, the kitchens in the middle. So this is the, what, seventh unit in building two. And then we got one more unit here, which it would be the eighth unit. This is an end unit. And again, I said this earlier, the end units are one ones and the middle units in this building two are two twos. So this is gonna be, you've got the door number, which takes you right into the kitchen. Kitchen looks good, cabinets are in, flooring's in. Drywall is in and painted, which looks nice. Uh, we need to do a P-Tech there, but our window's done and new. And then this will slide and transition over into the bedroom and we'll have a barn door right there. And in this one, you see we have vanity. I'm standing in the closet at this point. And then we can take a look and see the bathroom. Toilet still needs to be installed but the tub and the tub surround and all the plumbing is done. So quite the project, as you can see, quite the project. We'll need to replace this door here. We're gonna have to go through in the last, uh, in the end with a punch list, of course, and you know, hit a bunch of these odds and ends and these random things that were either not done yet or just haven't been addressed with the, with the contractors. But, all in all, it's a great project. We're still happy with it. It's taken us a lot longer than we had anticipated. Probably cost us about 400,000, maybe even half a million more than we had estimated in the beginning. But you know, lessons as you go, things you learn as you, as you get in. Still a great project. We're still gonna make a good amount of money on this project. Um, we're gonna be all into this project for Ooh, what's the numbers? Probably about two million, give or take. Uh, but we're bringing in over thirty thousand a month in revenue, which is awesome. So that means that we will be, um, you know, have a value somewhere around three and a half million dollars of this property. So it's all in all, it's a great project. Right before we wrap up, I want to take you guys into the solar room and show you the, the hardware that we have in that room. Let's just jump in. All right, guys, this is the last little segment of the video update today, which is Friday the 22nd of March. And uh, I wanted to take you guys into the solar room. So this, and I've done a video, I believe, on this before, but we have a ton of panels up top on the roof. And then we have two, four, six, seven of these pieces of hardware, which are referred to as inverters. They take the energy from the panel as a direct current, pull it down. I believe they convert it into AC. I, actually, I don't know. I'm not an electrician. But regardless, they take the energy from the panels and from the sun. Um, they go into these boxes. From there, they then go into these panels right here. 
Um, we then pull from these panels in this building to offset our energy. And then during the daytime, obviously they're not creating any power at night when there's no sun. But during the daytime, if we're actually putting more electricity into these panels than we're pulling, then it actually goes through one of these bilateral meters and it actually pushes that power back into the grid. We don't get paid by the, the power company. However, we do get credits that we can use if we push more power into the grid in a certain month than we pull from the grid to offset future months. So kind of cool. Uh, we spent about $240,000 on this solar system. So um, the goal with this system, whenever we purchased it, was to offset the energy, the electric bills, by 75%. Um, what we have found already from using more of these units, whenever this was a motel, it was poorly ran. Um, they weren't renting as many units you know, as they had wanted to. Um, so we're actually pulling more power already than, than what they had. Um, so our bill's actually going up a little bit. However, it's still saving us a ton of money. So instead of offsetting the bills by about 75%, it's probably realistically closer to 50 or even 60%, not quite 75%, but still 50 to 60% offset of electric bills is massive. And the reason that that's massive is because all of the utilities are included with the rent on these units. We did not have them individually metered for electric or individually metered for uh, water. And there isn't any gas in this building. It's all electric and all. So we pay the, ele the electric bill. We pay the water bill. And in fact, the water in this building is actually from a well, oddly enough. Um, so the water that we pay is really only for that building too, which we walk through in this video. Um, but regardless, electric is the number one largest expense in utility here outside of the mortgage and taxes. Um, and by having these solar panels, that helps offset that bill, which essentially makes this building cash flow better and we become more profitable. And from an investor standpoint, how do you value a multifamily or a commercial building? You typically value it based upon your net operating income and the income which is offset by the expenses. So if you can increase the expenses, I'm sorry, increase the income, obviously, and decrease your expenses, you are going to make more money. So the purpose of the solar panels on this building was to decrease the expenses um, because we cannot bill the tenants back for electric usage or water usage because we don't know how much each unit is using. It's all coming in one meter. So guys, hopefully you enjoyed this little video update of Sunshine Apartments, formerly known as Red Cedar Lodge here in Bon Terre, Missouri. We are rounding third base, like I said in the beginning of this video. We are heading towards home plate. Um, in the next probably two weeks, we will have 36 of 40 units done. And then just a few short weeks after that, we will have this project done, completed. My property manager just told me a minute ago, we have 19 units rented as of today out of 40, but we are getting ready to hand her eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 more units to go out and get rented in the next two weeks, which is very, very exciting for us. So, all right, that's it. That's all I got. Signing off. Talk to you guys soon. Thanks for watching.